Hey guys, this is just a short tutorial on how to make uh, Daedric armor and weapons. And Daedric armor is basically the best heavy armor in the game. Uh, so what that means is, if you're going to be playing as primarily a warrior type uh, class, uh, you want, you're going to want to get this armor set. And first of all, this is what Daedric armor and weapons look like. So I've got the two-handed Daedric sword and the full Daedric armor set. Uh, so in order to be able to even craft uh, Daedric armor, you first need to reach 90 blacksmithing. And uh, to reach 90 blacksmithing, I would say that the best way to do that is to just mine, uh, you know, as much iron ore in particular as possible, and also, you know, collect a lot of leather. And basically, what you do after that is. Uh, you smelt the ore into iron ingots and you make a ton a ton of iron daggers because iron daggers are essentially the most efficient way uh, to level your blacksmithing or one of the most efficient ways and of course you know if you come across other ores you can use those as well to make other items but just in general iron ore is uh, the most efficient for leveling uh, so once you reach 90 blacksmithing I'm just gonna quickly open my skills you also I uh, need to have uh, leveled your uh, smithing perks all the way up to Daedric Armor. So I'm just going to sh quickly show you the tree. Uh, so you can see here that first you get steel smithing, then you can go either left or right. So you have to get a bunch of perks, and they all require a specific amount of smithing, as you can see here, uh, to get to. And then finally, you get the perk for Daedric Armor. And when you get that perk, you actually get the ability uh, to be able to craft it. So once you get your blacksmith into 90 and uh, you get the perks, you will be able to use Daedric Smithing. So now I'm just going to quickly show you the materials that you need to craft it by using the forge. Okay, so you can see here that basically the three things that you need for almost every Daedric piece is uh, ebony ingots, Daedra hearts, and leather strips. Now, leather strips are, you know, they're easy to get. You're going to have them all throughout the game, uh, you know, no matter how high or low your blacksmithing skill is. Ebony ingots, I will actually show you the best place to mine them right now. It's going to open, open up my map. And here is the best place to mine ebony. Gloombound mine. So I'm just gonna sh I'm just showing you the location so you can find it yourself. And it's located, as you can see, in uh, central uh, Skyrim on the east side. And there is the city of Windhelm, just for reference. And so this mine has a lot of ebony. You can literally just mine there once, all of the ore in there, and you will have enough ebony to create all of the Daedric items that you need. Okay, now for the last uh, material, Daedra Hearts. That is what makes uh, Daedric Armor so hard uh, to, uh, to craft, is Daedric Hearts, because uh, they're very hard to find and they're very rare. And I'm just going to tell you the two places that so far you know, I've been able to find them in, or two ways rather. So one way is uh, I found some da two Daedra Hearts off random, uh, relatively high-level spellcasters. Uh, so something like, you know, a upper level necromancer um, enemy. I got a Daedra heart off of that. And I also got three Daedra hearts uh, from the Azurus Star Quest. And that's actually a quest that I have uploaded here on YouTube uh, in another one of my videos. Uh, you know, if you want to do that. And that quest gave me three Daedra hearts. So uh, that quest is probably, uh, as far as I know right now, the best way to get Daedra hearts in Skyrim. Uh, so yeah, once you get the Daedra Hearts and you have the Ebony and, you know, Nighty Blacksmithing and the perks, you, w you will be able to craft uh, Daedric Armor and weapons. And like I said, even though the weapons may not be, like I'm not sure, they may not be the best, they're definitely still very good. And the armor is definitely uh, the best armor just in terms of uh, sheer protection. Uh, so yeah, I hope that that was kind of clear. And, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, thanks for watching.